Every month, GameRanks puts together the best mobile games for you to check out. November was pretty good. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on GameRanks, the best free iOS and Android games of November 2020. Starting off at number 10, it is Slam Dunk. Now, this is an adaption of a Japanese anime, and it's also a real-time 3 versus 3 basketball game. Now, this is not something that you hear about too often, and the game itself actually works out really well. You do not need to know it is an anime. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and say like in my brain, it's whatever. I've never seen the anime, but I thought the game was quite fun. It does a lot of ridiculous anime things with basketball, as I'm sure the series does. I might even check the series out myself because I enjoyed the game plenty. It's real time, it's 3v3, and I think the controls are really intuitive. It's easy to play, but again, people get good at something that's easy to play and it's hard to win at. I'd highly recommend this, especially like if you just like basketball games. It doesn't even matter if you like the anime. Like I said, I have no experience with the anime. Slam Dunk 3v3 is out on iOS and Android right now. At number nine is Dystopia Contest of Heroes. This game has a slightly deceptive look. It is actually a RTS. The aesthetic of the game, of course, is going to remind you of a more like class-based, hero-based shooter type game. However, the minute you get into it, you're like, oh, 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 I know what the kind of game this is. There's base building, army building, other RPG elements. Honestly, sometimes it feels a little bit like a throwback to Clash of Clans. However, it brings a lot of new stuff to the table or at least different stuff. And I hesitate to call it really that kind of game. It's close to it though. I'd say it leans a little bit further into RTS territory and I've definitely enjoyed my time with it. Now, I'll go ahead and say this might be the kind of game that doesn't last for me. Sometimes it feels a little repetitive. That's not to say that the gameplay is bad. It is to say that over time, I think the developers could easily vary things up just a little bit more. However, the core gameplay is really tight. It's really enjoyable. And I think that it'll probably be around for a while. Dystopia Contest of Heroes is out on iOS and Android right now. And number eight is New Star Baseball, which comes to us from the developers of New Star Soccer and Retro Bowl. Very, very simple controls and yet incredibly satisfying to play. Like there's something about one-touched control games that hit right, that are just more enjoyable than more complex games, at least for the platform. I mean, I don't want a one-touch game on like PlayStation, but on mobile, I think I kind of do. If you take a guess at how the hitting of baseballs works in this game, you're probably right. And yet they managed to vary it up with enough types of different throws, and little things that vary what's going on, as well as great sound. There's something about hitting the ball that feels really good, audibly speaking. And like, no, it's not gonna be a game that you're gonna like learn something about yourself through. It's not like a highly detailed narrative or anything, but I really enjoyed it. Like as far as baseball games go, these guys do a good job with these types of games. New Star Baseball is currently on iOS. It is not out on Android yet, but I do hope it ends up there. Number seven is Star Wars Starfighter Missions, which has you leading a squadron of three different ships. Um, it plays a lot like an old school top-down scrolling shooter. However, you get to swap out various different ships. It's a mechanic that works really well, and this is a game that I think works pretty well. Honestly, I would like to see more adaptions of older genres where they actually do develop the type of game it is. You don't really see a lot of that now. When this genre is scraped on a little bit, it's more for nostalgia purposes, but I think this is a really good game. It manages to retain the conventions of the genre while actively progressing it and also adapts it to Star Wars in a very enjoyable and pleasing way. Star Wars Starfighter Missions is out on iOS and Android right now. Check it out. And number six is Goddess of Genesis S. This is kind of an interesting game. It's a 3D JRPG type game. It's pretty high energy in terms of battles. Like obviously you're still doing JRPG stuff, but they do a good job of making it very visually interesting. And it's fun because your characters, well, they're like Little Red Riding Hood and Lucifer. Like they're various famous characters from lots of different stories and areas of mythology. And when they do this kind of game, a lot of the time the characters look silly or don't go together. This is a game where they've really managed to sort of unify it. It really has a style and it doesn't feel weird. 
I mean, to be fair, these characters are not like monsters or anything. They're embodied in various humans, but it works well. Also, the battles are particularly enjoyable, I have to say. There's also online five versus five duels where you build a team and fight other people. It's really fun. It's put together really well. And all in all, I think the whole Goddess of Genesis S package is pretty darn good. It gives you just a little bit more than you expect out of it. And that's exactly why we would want to talk about it. Online stuff is really fun too. Check out Goddess of Genesis S on iOS and Android now. And number five is Fruit Ninja 2. Now, I didn't expect to be saying that this month. Fruit Ninja 2 kind of came out of nowhere for me. It's been like a decade since the original Fruit Ninja, but that's a game that I just absolutely enjoy the hell out of. Every couple years, I would get back into it too. It's one of those games that the gameplay itself is beyond well done. It's just great. It feels good. It's satisfying. They do a good job including bonuses, helping you progress, helping you customize your character. And that's all back here, except for it looks better. What I particularly enjoy in this new version though, is the rhythm slicing mode called Frutar Hero, which is an obvious reference to Guitar Hero, but it's actually really, really enjoyable. Like they did a great job putting it together and I hope that it gets expanded upon because they are in beta right now. So in theory, a lot of things could change over the next however long. That being said, of course I'm here for more Fruit Ninja. Again, I have come back to Fruit Ninja many times over the years and I'm stoked to see new Fruit Ninja. Check it out on iOS and Android right now. At number four is Prize Fighters 2. Yes, this game will absolutely feel like Punch Out because it is absolutely an homage to that and it pretty much completely nails it. I, I don't really know what else to say besides they've created a control scheme that works really well for touch and they've kept the good parts of the gameplay while kind of morphing it into their own game. I don't really have a lot of criticisms like it's punch out and it's great like it's a fantastic version of punch out it's like the kind of thing that phones were made to do update old classics with more intuitive controls absolutely just prize fighters it's fantastic check it out early access on both ios and android right now and number three is shadow fight arena it is a fighting game that is actually very pretty and real time fighting against other players. If I had to characterize it, I would call it kind of dialed back Mortal Kombat. And that's not necessarily a bad thing either because it's not like the thing that makes Mortal Kombat good is the gore. There's obviously a lot less gore in this title and still, honestly, I feel it kind of nails that kind of fighter. It's also got nice clean graphics. I have never lost my place inside. Sometimes in fighting games, the backgrounds get kind of busy and you don't know what's going on. Not a problem in this game ever, even a little bit. And honestly, I think it's got enough of a unique look that it feels like I'm not just doing the same thing as some other game in some new game. It's very pretty, got good lighting effects, got a style that is actually of its own doing. It would be recognizable for me after playing it for a while and just really good fighting. This is what you want out of a fighting game. Shadow Fight Arena is out on iOS and Android now. And number two is Warpath, a World War II strategy game that I think just really hits well. Like, I don't personally think that it's the most original concept we're ever going to see. However, show me a good World War II strategy game that, well, is something that is unwelcome. And I, I don't know what's up with you. I don't really know why you wouldn't want that. I mean, if it was bad, but it's not bad. It's also alternate history. So we do have an element of surprise and some little variants and things. However, they are pretty historically accurate as far as the units that you're fighting with. They also have a hero's mechanic called officers, which basically bring various special skills into the battlefield. It's definitely a good game. I like the visuals. It's kind of retro and it definitely keeps my attention. Warpath is out on iOS and Android now. And finally, at number one is A3 Still Alive which is basically an open world MMORPG that has lots of enjoyable modes, including a really good battle royale mode, but also the normal trappings of MMORPGs, including PVP. Honestly, I'm shocked that there's not more MMORPG style battle royales. After playing this one, I've realized that it is something that works really well and Netmarble did a good job with this. A3 Still Alive is out on iOS and Android right now. Give it a shot. And I've also got a bonus game for you in the form of Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead. Now you've played Bridge Constructor games before. This game plays out very much like World of Goo plus combat, if that makes sense. 
it is a dollar ninety nine. And if that description sounds like fun to you, it is is as fun as it sounds. Like it's really a good game. I really enjoy the hell out of Bridge Constructor: The Walking Dead. But what were you playing this month on your phone? Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. The best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. So click subscribe. Do not forget to click the notification bell. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on. Twitter at Falcon the Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.